everyone <coughs> oh god welcome back to my channel i'm sorry if the lighting is a little weird and i don't have my halloween background i'm filming this kind of on a time crunch i'm gonna go hang out with my friend which you'll see and you'll meet um but today as you can tell by the title i will be filming taking halloween buzzfeed quizzes because i thought it'd be fun you know and buzzfeed who doesn't love buzzfeed <laughs> But let's just jump right into it. I also don't, oh sorry, I look <laughs> awful. Sorry if I don't like do the little double screen filming thing. I'm not sure how to do that yet. <laughs> but I will read it to you and I think you can see, hopefully. But the first quiz is, this quick quiz will reveal if you're a good witch or a bad witch. All right, pick one. Can you see? You can see, right? Okay, I will pick the full moon. Which potion would you like to make? A love potion or a potion to talk to animals? Ooh. I think I'm gonna pick the love potion. I don't know, it sounds fun. It sounds delicious. <laughs> okay, choose a pet. Oh man. I don't like when they do these because I want to choose them all. So it's a dog, a hamster, a snake, and a cat. Oh, shoot. I want to say... I'll say cat. Because you know which cat, Serena Teenage Witch, has her cat Salem. Okay, pick one. So they're pumpkins. There's one that has, like, painting on it and one that's, like, carved out lights. I'm going to pick the carved one. <clears throat> pick a scary photo. Um... Can you see? I'm gonna pick this one. <clears throat> the mysterious person face that's all in black. Or in darkness. I don't know, it looks kinda sexy. <laughs> Ooh, I got Bad Witch! <laughs> Look! I got the Bad Witch! I'm gonna read it. It says, You have a mysterious and dark personality, but that's not always a bad thing. You're not the nicest person. But once you see something you want, you go after it. Ooh, that's so juicy. Ha! <laughs> My dad. Alright, I'm back. The next quiz is... This is really bad lighting, everyone. I apologize. It says, are you more like Pennywise or the Joker? I want to try to move it closer. Like you're taking it with me, you know? First question, which DC Comics villain would you date? Oh. Um. I'm gonna go Two-Face. It looks kinda hot. <laughs> okay. Um, zoomed it in. If you were a real clown, what would be your area of expertise? Ooh, the singing songs one sounds so creepy. Good jokes. I mean, I already make good jokes. <laughs> I'm gonna go singing songs. Just like imagine a creepy clown singing a song in like the middle of nowhere. Like in 2016, does anyone remember when clowns would just chase you or someone in the dark? That whole big thing? Yeah, okay. Which of the following scares you the most? Aliens, the supernatural, darkness, capitalism. Oh, there's more people in general, the passage of time. Aliens and the supernatural don't scare me. The darkness doesn't scare me. Capitalism. People in general. Passage of time. I'm just gonna go with people in general. I don't know. Nowadays, you don't know. You can't trust anyone. Pick a joker. Well, we have to go with the iconic... Heath Ledger. That's Heath Ledger, right? Excuse me, I'm filming. Someone's honking. In your opinion, clowns are hilarious, terrifying for kids, misunderstood, interesting, or tragic? Well, they are kind of creepy. I don't think they're funny. I'm just gonna go interesting. They're kind of in the middle. I don't wanna say they're tragic. That's a little bit traumatic. 
Pick a Pennywise. Well, I haven't seen the old version, so I'm gonna go with the new version, Pennywise. That one. I got the Joker! It says, you're totally jaded with the world around you. You strongly believe that most people are just plain awful and there's nothing that can be done to fix it. Your pessimism and cynicism gives you a very unique sense of humor, but it's definitely not everyone's cup of tea. And I think the picture's from the new Joker movie. Am I right? Am I wrong? Next quiz. I saved them in a bookmark so I wouldn't lose them. God, I love BuzzFeed quizzes. I actually used to take them at work a lot with my coworker, Audrey. <laughs> I miss her. Okay, this one is... Gosh, sorry. Eat a bunch of pasta and we'll give you a Netflix horror movie to watch this weekend. Oh, okay. I love the food ones. Let this pasta fest begin. Pick a pasta dish. Okay, fun fact, I'm not a huge fan of the red sauce. Oh, God. Unless it's like Filipino spaghetti that my mom makes. Not the Jollibee one, because that's too sweet. But I do like pasta and Alfredo. Is this... Oh, turn the brightness up. Let out. Mm, I'll just... Yeah. I will pick... I'm going to pick the pesto. I think that's pesto. Right. Because this has like vegetables and stuff. <laughs> I don't like vegetables that much. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the pesto and I think there's like cheese, like mozzarella. Pick one more. Oh man. Well, these are like the thicker noodles, like the egg noodle type ones. But that has shrimp. And those are alright. It doesn't look that exciting. I'm hungry. I'm gonna go... <laughs> um, I'll go with the shrimp one. Yeah. Keep it going. Oh, does that have chicken? Okay, I do not like the bow tie pasta. I don't like that. I do like the shells. Because then the sauce gets in the shell. Oh, I thought that was a spider. Oh, ah, I'm just gonna do this one. No, this one. Inside. Add an and another one. <gasps> Macaroni. Ooh, but that has bread. Mm, well, I've been choosing pasta, like the long ones, so I'm just gonna go with the macaroni. Oh, it has a name. Oh, it just says macaronis in a bowl of plate. Oh, okay. More pasta. My goodness. Pick one more. <gasps> Ooh. I'm gonna go with this one. Gosh, you can't see. I can't see, I'm sorry. Just this whole video is just me, like, can you see? <laughs> Pick one last pasta dish. This looks like it has bacon, but this looks like some really good pesto with bread. So I'm gonna pick that one. The Perfection. I kind of forgot what the quiz was about. <laughs> but it says The Perfection. Is that on Netflix? I've never seen it, like on the Netflix page, but it says the perfection is the old age, is the age old tale of two world class celicists who go absolutely insane over their art. Talk about being passionate about what you do. By the end, there are six lost limbs, several hallucinations, three pantsuits, and one of the wildest horror rides you'll ever go through. What? That just took, like, a quick three... What? <laughs> okay. There's three more quizzes left. I think I picked six, so the video won't be that long. But if you want a part two, I would love to do a part two. Because <laughs> this is fun. You know? It's like you're taking the quizzes with me. Um, this one is create a candy apple to see which Halloween song you should listen to. <gasps> Ooh, I've never had a candy apple. <laughs> I know, go ahead and roast me, but I, yeah, I mm, never had a candy apple. Pick an apple. Um, well, my favorite are the green ones, so I'll pick the green one. Pick a dip. Caramel, red candy, white chocolate, or chocolate. Oh, 
is between chocolate and caramel. Chocolate. Pick a topping. Chocolate chips, gummy bears, crushed graham crackers, or toffee bits. There's no sprinkles. <laughs> uh, I don't like toffee. And gummy bears would be too hard. I'll pick the graham cracker. If only it was like Oreo. Pick another topping. Mixed nuts, M&Ms, mini marshmallows, <gasps> Oreos. What did I tell you? Crush Oreos. Wait, then I'll just pick... No, that's fine. Pick one more topping. <gasps> Candy corn, sprinkles, crushed pretzels, chopped Snickers. Which one am I gonna pick? I do like candy corn, but I will pick sprinkles. Pick a sauce flavor to drizzle on top. Chocolate, damn. Should I go back and pick caramel? Since I can drizzle chocolate. Yeah, okay. Don't get mad at me. I'm gonna go back and pick caramel so I can drizzle chocolate. Oh, it's chocolate butterscotch strawberry marshmallow but i'm gonna pick chocolate to drizzle and i got time warp from the rocky horror picture show oh <gasps> i do like that song but i only have the glee <laughs> the glee version of that song on my halloween playlist yeah Ooh. eat black food for a day and we'll tell you where you are on the goth emo spectrum <laughs> Drink a coffee or tea? Oh man, do you see all the options? Well, it's funny, they don't tell you which one's tea. Hmm. See, this is a problem when I take BuzzFeed quizzes. I overthink these things. I'm gonna pick this one. <laughs> the like very blacked out one. Oh. Eat something fruity. Ooh, an acai bowl. <gasps> which one looks cooler? That has raspberries and like chia seeds and stuff, and this has bananas. That's just blackberries and black apple. This is straw. I'm gonna pick this one. It has strawberries and banana. Eat a burger or slider. I'm not a fan of sliders. I don't know why. Um, I'm gonna pick this one because it's like a breakfast type one. I don't know, there's just two waffles as the barn. <laughs> so I'll pick that one. Drink some lemonade. This one. Yeah. Eat some pasta. Ooh, more pasta. That has seafood. I mean, I like seafood, but that's a lot. And that's just black pasta. This is ravioli. Could have some good stuff inside. And this looks like it has, like, fruit. I'm gonna pick this one. I'm gonna pick the ravioli. What's that song? Ravioli, ravioli, give me the... I don't know. Eat one more snack. An egg sandwich, some chicken salad, another waffle burger. That looks like caviar. I don't know. Boiled eggs, salmon. I do like egg salads, but I'm gonna pick a little waffle burger with chicken yum finish with some dessert so that looks like froyo this looks like a blue cupcake with black frosting this looks like uh, those bread dessert things this is just like a black waffle cone with a soft serve ooh black cake i'm gonna pick this one that's strawberries it's also a soft serve I'm 50% God, 50% emo. Haha. <laughs> That's what it looks like. It says, you're an even mix of goth and emo. You're really into things that are creepy and dark, but you also love emo music and the aesthetic that goes with it. Somehow you make it all work together. <laughs> Thus feed. Thanks. <laughs> Last quiz. No. Do I sound sick? Ugh. Okay, it's ever wonder if you're a witch? Answer some questions to reveal all. Pick a place for a coven meeting. Ooh. 
A restaurant, the public library, cemetery, forest. Okay. It's between the cemetery and the forest. I want to say forest. Because, you know, I feel like if it's the cemetery, then a bunch of other people are there, you know, underground, and it's not really a secret. I don't know. Just in the forest, you can be with your coven and, you know, use the elements of the forest for your powers. Pick a name. <laughs> Look at my name. <laughs> it says Sally, Serena, Sabrina, Jefferson. I do like Serena because a gossip girl. But I'm going to pick Sabrina right there. I should get like a little iPad so I can just touch screen and you guys can see. Sabrina. Pick a place to live. City, forest, by the beach, the suburbs. Uh, I'm gonna say city, cause I'm a city girl. Pick a place to eat. Home or out of friends, Olive Garden, <laughs> Applebee's, or a locally owned rest stair. Rest stair. Oh, it's just like a restaurant. Do they spell it wrong or is that what you call it? Um, I want to say a locally owned restaurant. Because it could be cozy. Pick a job. Doctor, florist, actor, singer. I would say actor. Because, you know, acting sounds fun. I don't trust myself being a doctor. <laughs> Pick a familiar. If you don't know what a familiar is, it's basically like your sidekick. You know, like Sabrina the Teenage Witch has her cat. So it's a black cat, a crow, a dog, or a turtle. I'm gonna pick the black cat. A crow seems fun, cause like, you know, in the Vampire Diaries, Damon Salvatore has his crow, but he's not a witch. But I don't know, they kind of phased it out towards the end, but I got witch, see? It's a cool picture. But it says, ever notice supernatural things happening around you? That's because you're a witch, and if you don't want to be a witch, well you, well, you were definitely one in a past life. That can't be helped. Might as well embrace the magic inside you. And that's it. Whoa. You got really dark. But that's it for the BuzzFeed questions. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry if it was kind of like rushed or felt rushed, but... Um... <laughs> If you want a part two, let me know because I would love to do a part two. Maybe like a Thanksgiving, Halloween, BuzzFeed quizzes. I mean, <laughs> Thanksgiving BuzzFeed quizzes or another Halloween BuzzFeed quiz or Christmas one. Whatever you guys want because there are tons to pick from. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, Spooktober is almost over. I think. How many more? One, two, three, four more Spooktober videos left. And then we go back to videos every Wednesday for uh, <clears throat> November and Christmas. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. To share it with your friends, your fellow witches. <laughs> and um, I hope you're having a good day. A good weekend. A good night. Uh, you know. Um, I'll see you in the next video. Bye, my little devils. Hey, what's up? <laughs> Your boy Chris here. The vegan guy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Why the um, fuck did I turn it off? I'm hella smart. Maybe because your camera Let's shy. Go. I am. <laughs> Just a little bit. Um, we're gonna go eat at a vegan place called Gordito's. And we just amigo. ate at Flacco's, and they're both in Berkeley. This is awkward. <laughs> <laughs> um, see you later.